No matter how pissed I am right now, I guess it's still worth it. Hello Internet, welcome to Lex Universe. So, you may think this is all about Christmas. Um, well, that's not the case. This is actually a remnant of a party. I mean, when you're all alone and get drunk, you still call it party, right? Sorry. <laughs> I'm losing my mind from the quarantine. Anyway. Uh, as you may have noticed from the name of this video, um, I'm planning a trip to Kenya and I wanted to show you all the things that you need to do if you want to get to this country in November 2020. Because believe me, <clears throat> if you ever thought that traveling was difficult, well, stay tuned because this is a whole other level. <laughs> So alright, um, I will be departing in like four days, so now the probability that something will change or something will go horribly wrong is decreasing, so I finally decided that I will apply for my Kenyan visa. Um, so you can apply for it in advance online, uh, there is this site, I will put you the link in the comments below. and. Uh, yeah, you will probably need your passport because they will, know, they will want some uh, information from that. Uh, the passport needs to be valid for at least six months, like in usual cases when you apply for a visa. And you need to have like at least um, at least three empty pages in the passport. Um, when you apply for it on the internet, it costs uh, fifty dollars and then one dollar for uh, some service fee. Uh, you can also get a visa um, upon, <coughs> upon arrival, um, but this, cap this possibility will no longer be valid in 2021 and also even now uh, it's much easier to get it online. It's a lot less hassle, although I'm not expecting there to be a lot of people at the immigration right now, but still, uh, I'm gonna do it online, so let's go through it. Anyway, so uh, this is this is the site where you can apply for the visa. Uh, you need to create an account here. Or I already have one, so I can just simply sign up, sign in. They want some information about you uh, regarding your permanent residence, your nationalities. So I will skip this because we don't really need to see that. Yeah. Then you have to choose which kind of visa you need. Uh, there are several more possibilities. Um, I'm choosing single entry visa. Okay, uh, so here you, you will need to, oh, you will need to think. Jesus Christ, why do they need to know about my father? Well, okay, let's fill this out. All right, so here we are. Um, this will be fun. So, they also want a lot of things about the place where you will be staying once you get there, so... Right... We'll probably have to find... Find somewhere I'm booking. Well, that probably comes the first problem, because... I mean, I was... I was making the reservation of a booking, and... Of course, I don't have the email address, so I had to put that like this... <laughs> at the property.booking.com address, so... Well, okay, next. Recent visits to other countries in the last three months. Uh, and now it would seem that I ended because they want a past precise photo, which I possibly have somewhere in my wallet, but I don't have it anywhere in my computer, so I have to create it my own. So let's photo shoot. It's pretty fun. Have you ever seen me without my hat on? Alright, so I was making my amazing photo shoot adventure. I got locked out, so I have to go through all that again, of course. 
Oh, sí. So as you can see here, you have to attach your hotel reservations and your flight tickets and all the shit that you need. Let's do that. So, um, fun fact, I mean, it's not fun. I'm starting to get really pissed. But you can see it here, you have to attach a file about your hotel reservation and your ticket. And all of that has to be a picture. So you have to kind of, I don't know, print it and then take a picture of it and upload it again. <sighs> Alright guys, so I've never been, literally never been this tired in my entire life. Two and a half hours applying for a visa to one single country. And now I will still have to register in this fucking COVID form. And I can already see how that will be equally frustrating. But you know, um, it's November 2020 and I'm flying to Kenya. So... No matter how pissed I am right now, I guess it's still worth it. So, stay tuned. Don't worry, I will take you through all the obstructions that I'll have to go through. So if you want to go to Kenya, uh, one other thing that you have to go through is you have to fill out this uh, online form regarding the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, if you are from a, the so-called safe country, uh, you will only need to get the PCR negative test for COVID-19. If you were coming from the dangerous zone, you will have to also go into the quarantine for 14 days. Which I don't, so luckily they haven't noticed that Czechia is one of the most dangerous places in the, in the world. Uh, so I will just have to get the test, but before I do, I will have to fill out this form. Uh, you, I will give you the link in the comments below just fill out your personal data and send it. Right, and here comes the next requirement that I have to go through before I get to Kenya. And that's something that is usually recommended every time we go to Africa. And that's the vaccination. Uh, there is basically like no required vaccination. Uh, you just need to be... Uh, you just need the vaccine for the yellow fever if you travel from any other African country. But um, since I want to have it covered and I believe I will need it in the future anyway, so I decided I will take it. Uh, I'm just kind of getting to the point that I realized that I have kind of strong needle phobia, so I hope I will survive this. So let's mask up and let's do it. Yeah, I'm not nervous at all. Well, so I made it in the end, as you can see, it looks horrible. Now I deserve some candy, right? But that's one thing of my bucket list gone. I'm not a drama queen at all, am I? Am I? Oh. And now one of the activities that are connected to traveling these days more than anything else and that's COVID-19 testing so let's hope I'm negative. Alright so as you can see I got tested and I still don't know the results so it's really possible that I am positive and I'm going anywhere but in any case uh, let me show you all the things that I'm bringing with me. The first thing that you have to remember if you're going to Kenya all of these plastic bags are illegal bags. And you can get a pretty high fine. Uh, I think it's like $38,000 or up to four years in prison. So in case you are used to wearing things in your in some plastic bags, well, you can forget that. As you can see, I have my international certificate of vaccination uh, where I have my low fever vaccination certificate. Then of course, uh, don't forget your sunscreen. Um, it's, well, it's a wet season in Kenya, so I believe it will be raining, so I'm also bringing my umbrella and my raincoat. That's gonna never hurt, right? Um, what else? Yeah, so um, you can have some other forms of bags for whatever you need to bring it on. For example, if you want to have uh, some cash with you and 
you want to store it somewhere, uh, the bags from other material than plastic are okay. Also, uh, you can use reusable plastic bags, uh, for example, like those for NSC controls. Um, these are okay, at least from what I was able to find out. I'm not sure it. Um, <clears throat> then, of course, I will need a lot of face masks, um, a lot of pills for headaches, fever, um, diarrhea, other stomach problems. Uh, it never hurts to get some um, to get some disinfection. Uh, that's really useful. Uh, some this hand sanitizer is really useful. Um, not only because of COVID, but uh, you can get a lot of much worse illnesses in Kenya. So definitely a must. Uh, then I have some other things like for um, bug bites. You know the thing is. Uh, don't let the mosquitoes bite you because because then you are in danger of getting malaria which is something that you don't want to get uh, you can get some anti-malaria pills they're quite expensive so be prepared for that and um, when I'm talking about the mosquitoes I actually ordered this today I haven't packed it out yet so. and that is the insect repellent Get some good one that is 50% of DET. Very useful. Also, I cannot have this. Um, what else? Some, yeah. Okay, uh, one other good thing uh, don't forget your uh, plug outlet adapter. They're using the G type plugs, uh, it's the same one as in Britain, so keep that in mind. Unless you come from Britain or you know, Thailand, then bring this one. And um, yeah, here is this uh, very cool thing that I have. It's uh, generally this is for um, taking pictures on the water. It's uh, waterproof. But uh, what I will be using it now is for my passport because, well, I don't want I don't want it to get wet. So it fits there very nicely and I will keep it dry. Um, also, if you have some money, it's usually advisable to have your cash somehow divided, so I keep some money here, and I can stick some money with this passport in here, and keep it by myself. For example, I'm sorry, a technical type. My hairs. Keep it under your t-shirt. It looks a little bit stupid, but you're safe. Uh, another thing that I would like to tell you is, well, if you're going to Kenya, it's good to have some American dollars with you so that you can exchange them there for the Kenyan shilling. But also, I would recommend you this car. It's called Revolut. It's designed for travelers. Uh, it has almost no fees for withdrawals from any ATMs worldwide, which is very useful. And also, um, the exchange rates when you pay with pay with it as a card, um, they're a lot more favorable than than my card from from my from my bank account. So that's kind of useful. And I was actually like thinking how many, how much clothes I should bring with me because I'll be there for ten days, and. Um, well, from what I heard, uh, buying clothes in Kenya is not like, the cheapest thing, so um, I guess I will bring as much as I can with me. But um, keep in mind, uh, if you're going to Nairobi, it's quite high above the sea level, so like 2,000 meters almost. So uh, it's not as warm as you would expect, even though it's almost directly on the equator. And um, it can get chilly in the evening, which is not my problem because they have a curfew there, of course, because they have it everywhere. Um, but um, yeah, bring some, bring some uh, jacket or, or some sweatshirt, hoodie, whatever. Right. Uh, so uh, I hope I kind of got you through what you have to do on your travel to Kenya. I'm 
So I really hope that I will get there and that I will be able to share with you a lot more. Well, if not, then um, this will have to do. At least I will give you some ideas what to do if you want to travel there. And um, yeah, so if you like this video, please give me a like. Um, comment down below whatever questions you may have. I will try to respond to them. <clears throat> um, subscribe to my channel, check out my other social media, and see you in the next video, which I will hope, which I hope will be in Kenya or on the airport in Doha. Have a great day.